Help is on the way for the people of Haiti who are coping with so much since Hurricane Matthew just devastated that country. CBS 4's Maribel Rodriguez was there as some much needed supplies left Miami International Airport. 80,000 pounds of food, 80,000 pounds of medicine packed on more than 100 pallets will soon be reaching hundreds of thousands of Haitians struggling to survive after Hurricane Matthew destroyed parts of the island last month. And things are pretty dire there. Uh, 800,000 people in need of food aid, 1.4 million people in need of assistance. That's not far off how many people needed assistance after the 2010 earthquake. At Miami International Airport on Tuesday, relief supplies were loaded on a Western Global Airlines flight bound for Port-au-Prince. Airlink, a rapid response and humanitarian organization, quickly set out on their mission to help the Haitian people. Last week, they set out on one mission and now they're doing it again. Right now, uh, one, of the, one of the challenges uh, within Haiti is that uh, in the south, where, where, these, uh, where the, most of the impact occurred, 95% of the infrastructure has been damaged. All the crops have been destroyed. Another serious problem in Haiti is the outbreak of cholera. They hope the medicine being sent will help treat it. Airlink, who is working with a number of nonprofit organizations like MediShare and AmeriCares, will be doing all they can to make sure the relief supplies get to the people who need it most. You know, even though it's not so far away, you know, time, time saves lives, right? And so, um, you know, we've got, um, uh, there are many organizations on the ground and the World Food Program, Logistics Cluster, they're, they're doing a good job there as well. Um, but, you know, more is more and uh, we need to help those uh, that are uh, being affected by this. Connecticut, Texas, D.C. These are just a few of the places where all this cargo is coming from. And here in South Florida, so if you donated any supplies to Haiti, chances are they could be on one of these pallets soon on its way to Haiti. They're already planning their third mission to Haiti. At MIA, Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.